Turn your AI images into animated wallpapers. Hello my friends, how are you doing? It's time for Hackerman again because yesterday one of you goons said try out this software called Wallpaper Engine or I'm gonna call your mama and mama always knows what's best. So today I'm gonna show you how that works super easy. So for your cheap skates out there, this is on Steam, it's only four bucks and then you can create your own wallpapers, you can upload them to the Steam workshop. There is not really a video export but you can use OBS to screen capture your awesome animation and then for example use it as a background for your cool YouTube music mixes or whatever you want to do. Let me show you how that works. So of course the first thing we need is a nice image. I created one image here with Midjourney. This is with the Nichi engine because it just works very well. This is my first role. But my automatic 1111 friends don't cry. I didn't forget about you my friends. I tested different anime models. I created this image with it. I will attach an image with the model, with the prompt, with the settings, everything for you. So can check it out and here I have another image created with another model that I also created for you. Find the download link below the video for the document with all of the prompt and the settings in there. It's all good, it's all fine my friends. So next we're gonna go into the wallpaper engine software and this is what it looks like at the first sight. There's a ton of wallpapers here that you can download, you can install them to your screen, they are animated, sometimes they're interactive, they're like little little video games, things like that. And you can create that stuff too. This thing can become pretty complex, but of course we're not here to play around with other people's wallpapers. No, no, no. We want to make our own wallpaper. So on the lower left, you see the button wallpaper editor. So you want to click on that and that is opening up this. You have a welcome screen here that's asking to create a wallpaper and first we're going to select an image here. So click and then you go to the folder and you select the image you want to use. Then we want to click on OK. Here you can see the resolution is different than we need so it's adapting the resolution for us. Click on OK and there we have the image. With the mouse wheel you can scroll in and out and here we have this kind of stripe border. This is what you're not seeing seeing on the screen afterwards. And then on the upper left side you see here at assets. So it's super easy my friends. You click on that and then you have your different kind of stuff. For example what we want to have here is falling leaves. You can see here we have a preview of that animation. They are in red. You can also have green, red, yellow, red, green, all the kind of good stuff. So let's go with red, yellow and then we click here on OK. And as you can see we have here our leaves falling all over the screen as a very nice animation pre-created for you. Now for my taste there's a little bit too much leaves here so on the right side you want to check out these settings here. You have here the playback rate, this is how fast the leaves are gonna fall. Then you have the speed, you have the size, you have the count. Now with the count of course we can reduce the amount of leaves in here. So let's go here a little bit lower so we have less leaves and you can already see up here there's now less leaves coming in. Now we can do a lot of other stuff here. For example, when I go back here, you can see I have here some stuff that's called workshop. So when you have here browse workshop, you click on that and there is tons and tons and tons of effects that are created by the community. You can have a clock, you can have here these sound waves because you can also play music inside of your wallpaper, all kinds of other stuff. You can have your mouse cursor traced by all kinds of amazing things. And up here you have a search, for example, for God rays or any kind of other things you want to add to your image. I already have downloaded stuff. If you want to download them you simply click on that and then over here there is a subscribe button. So for example here with this one you click here on subscribe and then this is going to be downloaded and you find it in your workshop list. So here on the right side you can see I have a cherry blossom cursor trail. So I'm going to use that. I choose that and I click on OK down here. You can see it's added in here. This is adding a ton of these cherry blossoms but I don't want to have cherry blossoms. So what are we going to do here? First of all go to the color over here 
and then change this to orange. So now we have orange leaves. Beautiful. We click on OK. And then I want to have a lot less. So let's reduce the count by a lot. And now, as you can see, if I move my mouse cursor around on my desktop, this is going to do this kind of animation. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see that you can add as many leaves to the cursor trail as you want. Now, there is some more stuff I want to do here. For example, I want to have a little bit of God rays coming in. So let's click here again on assets and then you want to look here for these light shafts over here. You can see a nice animation here of the God rays. Again, they are animated. This is not just an overlay of a PNG. There are also different kind of light shafts that you can choose from and then you can add them. You can also add multiple of them. I want to just use those. So click on OK. And here's the thing. You see this kind of thing here in the middle. So with the big yellow rectangle here, you can move it around. With the blue circle, you can rotate that to the side. And then with the little yellow square in the middle, you can resize that. You can see it's getting bigger and smaller. So I can move that now over here a little bit to the side. So we have some God rays coming in here from the right side. Now the scene already is pretty cool, but I want to add some bloom to that. So the way I'm going to do that is up here. We have scene options. You can enable this and you can see we now have here bloom. Bloom is a little bit too extreme right now. So you can reduce the strength until you feel like that's nice. Like this, for example, you also have here a threshold on where the bloom is going to start for you. So you can reduce that a little bit. And like that, you have a dreamy scene. Now, if you want to test that on your desktop, the only thing you have to do here is first of all, go here to file and go to save. So not losing anything. And then you go to file again and you go here to apply wallpaper. And with that, you can apply that to your screen. And this is going to be an animated wallpaper on the background on your screen. How amazing is that? Now, of course, if you want to be a fancy pants creator, you can go here to workshop and say share wallpaper on workshop. And like that, you can put here a title, you can put here a genre like anime, you can put your description, a color scheme, you click here on the preview image for capture preview. And like that, you can see with dragging your mouse, you can capture the preview and then hit enter to save that. So now we have a preview image. And then you click here on publish. So this is then on the Steam Workshop. Of course, my little bunnies, I'm going to put the link of the wallpaper I created right now down in the link below the video so you can check that out. And also, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and maybe write a comment. That would be amazing for me. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.